Welcome to Always Believe. We're watching 24 hours of Star Wars today. And Ashley's a traitor today. She wore Greedo's outfit. <laughs> How could you? McClunky. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> it is the night before the big 24 hour challenge and we are baking all of our snacks and things we're gonna have tomorrow to keep us motivated and keep us going while we're watching all these movies. And right now we're gonna make lightsabers. I'm adding the chocolate and you're sprinkling them. You wanna switch? Yeah, Can sure, I? you wanna do that? Kylo Ren blade, it's gonna be all like Matt the radio technician right. when he shows them the, the lights are. It looks dangerous. It's like a child made it. Well, you don't have to look at it! These are like our victory cigars for the end of the trilogy, I think. Oh, okay. We're gonna have our victory lightsaber pretzels when we complete the trilogy. Definitely. Definitely gonna complete the trilogy. You're gonna like wake me up like, lady, lady, wake up. <laughs> wake up. Time for pretzels. But they're so good right now. The dark side is calling to me. I made dark side cookies. Chocolate chips and chocolate chunks. In there. They are so good. That's my problem. I can't not eat cookies when they come out of the oven. We are attempting to make Mustafarian lava buns, which is from the Galaxy's Edge cookbook, but we don't really have any of the ingredients. All of the baking stuff is gone, so we're making it work. Just got a box of uh, the only bread I could find, which was this almond artisan bread, and we're gonna use this to substitute for making these Mustafar buns, and we'll just try to add the food coloring. Put in as meat is definitely not red yet. It's looking Mustafari. Are you gonna Are you gonna lick that? You let me lick the spatula. There you go. Wait, I dare you do it. It's still on my finger. I don't want to eat it. You gotta really, you gotta really get it off of there. There you go. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> you guys want to eat that? This is what the people in Mustafar eat. Gluten uh, sensitive Mustafarians eat these lava buns. Our lava buns done. We put them on a new pan because it was just totally a mess. And we put these in the oven. Because Ashley said so. Yes. Because <laughs> Ashley said so. We just finished baking everything that we need to do for the night. Cliff is tuckered out. I <laughs> just put them on top of my like. Guess we're going on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time I think we park this ship for the night. Uh, it's really late. It's, what, 10.30? We are supposed to be in bed an hour ago. <laughs> too much to get ready for for tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble doing it. Good night, flight crew. We'll see you in, uh, see you in a few hours. Good morning, flight crew. It's almost 6 o'clock. We've got the movie queued up. Doing our coffee right now. I feel like I'm on the dark side this morning. Did go to bed kind of late, like you guys might be <laughs> saw. Ooh, perfect. Lucas foam cup. Are you ready for the live stream today, Goober? Do you have your coffee? It is officially 6 a.m. We are doing this. Cheers, Cheers Sorry, lady. I'm like Instagram at the same time. Oh, that's okay. Hi, everybody. Morning, flight crew. We're doing this. We're about to start episode one, The Phantom Menace, to do this crazy 24-hour challenge. And we'll be more awake in a little bit after we finish our coffee, but <laughs> let's just get going. Let's not waste any time. We gotta start this day, because there's only so many hours. Good morning, neighbors. Happy Saturday. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this a long time. Yeah. I'm really nervous. I know we're already a little tired right now. I'm cranky. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fun experience. I've never done this before. Never done a 24 hour challenge. Uh, yeah, I've never done 24 hours of Star Wars like this. Really? I, mean, I thought you would have been one of the people to do the movie theater. I always it. thought about it, but like seeing in a movie theater is not the same as like sitting on your couch and relaxing watching the movies. I don't know. I feel like I'm like way more likely to fall asleep <laughs> on our own couch. So being uncomfortable in the movie theater is probably a better way to watch it. No, I fall asleep in the movie theater just fine, too. Um, <laughs> this guy might, though. Oh, this might guy? Might poop on your chair. Oh, Cliff. Cliff's hanging out with us today, too. Copyright. So when's the last time you saw, like, episode one? I started watching it when Disney Plus came out. Oh, that's right. We did. And then we kept going, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We were going to do, like, a 24-hour a challenge, or we haven't figured yeah, it out yet. I know. I was so excited for this movie to come out in 99. I can't really remember too many details around seeing this movie when it first came out. I really? remember. I remember. I still have my ticket. Oh, really? Yeah, I still have my ticket Oh, somewhere. no way. Uh-huh. My uncle took me. Because he's a big Star Wars geek, too. Oh, so lucky. I, I don't remember being necessarily disappointed when this movie came out, but it still, as a kid, kind of went, huh. I did, too. I didn't get a good 
amount of time to really watch the original trilogy before I saw this prequel because I just didn't have it available to me. Yes. So I had like an idea of what Star Wars was and I really love Star Tours. Like I was obsessed with it. <laughs> and so like I watched this and I was like, I guess some of that Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little <sighs> confused. I think like a lot of fans, I got so hyped up on what I was expecting to see and what I wanted to see that we never saw in the movies. It was just weird. It was weird to see something new Star Wars for the first time ever because it had been so long. Mm -hmm. I was very confused about the little boy and the grown ass woman. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, wait. Very confused about that. Mm. <gasps> Blast them. <laughs> oh, this part. See, when they first bust out the lightsabers, I think the movie was really exciting when it first starts off, but then it just kind of gets a little slow later on. Man. Talk too much. Oh, talk too much is true. Not you, not you. That oh. was like, they talk too much. I, <laughs> I mean, you say, do I talk too, too much. but... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, today a lot of what we're doing is not really going to be commentary on the movie. It's more going to be if just like... Oh my gosh, could you imagine if we did commentary for all nine movies? How long this that would be? That would be like a week's worth. Oh, side note. I love this part where <laughs> Qui-Gon is cutting through the metal of the doors, of the blast doors. Like, I always wanted to see something like that as a kid. You're like, if you have a lightsaber, you can just cut through anything. Mm -hmm. And he finally does in this movie. He just stabs it in there. Oh, I love that. It was one of my favorite parts. But anyways, yes. Speaking of not making commentary the entire time, this is not going to be really a commentary fog. This is more of like the challenge of us sitting here for 24 hours, being fans, and seeing if we can sit here and watch all these movies in a day. Mm -hmm. And sort of the... Slow fall of Ashley and I from the light side to the dark side. Do I mean, we woke up on the dark side. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to the light side and then we'll go back to the dark side. What are you wearing? Uh, what did you decide to put on today? Yeah, we put on fun outfits today. Uh, for episode one, I am rocking everyone's favorite character, Jar Jar Binks. He's my favorite. Excuse me. <laughs> and I have on uh, one of my... Uh, Batu bound kind of Jedi robe hoods right now. What do you have on? You have a much cooler outfit on right I'm now. I'm my favorite Darth Maul. Ew. My favorite Sith Lord. You have to speak in a British accent because that's how Darth Maul. My favorite Darth. <laughs> Darth Maul. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do it. Yes, Master. Very calm and calculating. It's a good morning. <laughs> I got my red dress and this like little robe thingy. But yeah, uh. this is what. Thank goodness, this is actually kind of comfy. It's very yeah. comfy looking. And I shaved my legs for this event. I actually shaved my quarantine wow. legs. Wait, did I miss this split? No, okay. Good, good. So far, so good. Very important. If you're sitting here for 24 hours, you have to have nice and smooth legs. I'm just saying, I did it for you, flight crew. <laughs> Guys, we're really excited to have you all watching with us today for these 24 hours. And the big important thing that we're doing today as well is we are helping raise money for No Kid Hungry. No Kid Hungry is a program that helps feed children across America, specifically children who depend on the hot meals at um, school. And so I was one of those kids. I was one of those kids that didn't have a lot of money and my parents could afford meals sometimes. So yeah. I really depended on getting that free breakfast and free lunch from my school. But because of COVID, a lot of schools are shut down. Yeah. Some of them luckily have been able to keep um, meals going and that's partially because of the help from No Kid Hungry program. But this program means a lot to me just because growing up, that's, that's what I needed. So yeah. I couldn't imagine growing up in a time like now when my school is shut down and my parents are out of work and I can't get food. We want to be able to give back and help support a great charity that keeps these kids um, being able to receive access to those free hot meals. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've been wondering that this whole time. Like, I've been wanting to like figure out a way to give back more during this time because so many people are helping their communities. And we obviously felt like we're doing a lot with Always Believe, just trying to keep that fun going with our flight crew, with everybody else online, just keeping positivity in the air. But this is another great way to really add to that and really genuinely give back to the community. Yeah. So. If you guys want, you can donate to No Kid Hungry. You can just do it directly yourself if you want, but we also have... We have one set up on our Facebook page. So we have a donation um, set up on our Facebook page that you can go there. Um, we're also going to be using all of our Super Chats from today's live stream mm -hmm. to put towards that charity as well. So that's super exciting. Everybody, we hope you're going to be good Jedis today and give back and protect and uh, help everybody. But important things, Jar Jar Binks just showed Jar -Jar up for the first Binks. time. Oh, no! something bad happens.
You saved my again. That's me. I love doing Jar Jar's voice. So if you guys are fans of Jar Jar Binks and you're fans of Always Believe and you're fans of what we're doing today, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. The likes are really important for our channel. They help us get recommended on YouTube and they help other people see this fun event that we're doing today and also then be able to contribute to No Kid Hungry. Really appreciate it, Flight Crew. But back to the movie. That episode one is definitely a kid's movie because, you know, there's a lot of lines like, You saw a big doo-doo now. There's a lot of poop and doo-doo jokes. You saw a big doo-doo now. Oh, I like this guy too. Big Boss NASA. Yeah. Okay. You can do it. That was pretty good. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> they think their brain's so big. <laughs> Be gone with him. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead the lines a little bit, but. <laughs> yeah, Let the movie talk. We should know Karen about Danabu. See? <laughs> so, our favorite part in episode one is about to come up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you guys. Thank so you, more coffee. That smells stinky. I want to miss this part. It's so funny. favorite part. Oh, no. Leaking in here, all sinking and no power? When are you thinking we say in trouble? Oh, oh it's back. Huh? Why is that so funny? <laughs> that moment where he just goes, <sighs> He's just like sassing back to Qui-Gon Jinn. But his face looks so we never noticed it. Like the last time I think we were watching it, we suddenly noticed him like turn around and go, ah. Oh, lady, I have something for you. What did you do? Just a little. Why? Thank, just a little thank you. It all has to do a thank you for me. I'm thanking you because I love you for doing this crazy thing with me today. Oh, you're the best. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, this is private information. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. You know, I appreciate that you're sitting here for 24 hours with me. I wanted to do these I 24 know. hours. I know. It was your idea. I really have wanted to, I've always wanted to do the ones that are in the theater. For me, like, I get really bad crowd anxiety. Yeah. And to be in one place, and I can't stay in one place very well. Yeah. Um. So I was just like, I don't think my anxiety could handle it. So I'm like really excited that we can do it from home we have the flight crew so then we still get that like group experience exactly a little bit. it's still gonna test your anxiety a bit yeah. i think because we're in the comfort of our own home and this is our my this is my safe place we'll be fine i don't think i'm gonna have i don't think it's gonna be too bad that's the real pet me no, don't don't tell everybody <laughs> see this scene i was confused at because i was like i know who natalie portman is did yeah. I know who Natalie Portman is? I don't think I knew who Natalie Portman was. I don't think many was. people knew who she was yet. Did she really do anything with this? She was... She was in The Professional, like, which yeah, was, she, she was like a, a young kid. She was a kid actress. She's supposed to be sort of a kid in this movie too, and technically Anakin's a kid, but they're only like a three year difference. He was like 10 and she was 14. Something like that, but she looks so much more mature than he does. So it's really confused. weird. I was like, she is a queen, she is a woman, she is all grown up, he's a baby child. Oh, my God. All right, we're about like half an hour into the first movie. How are you feeling so far? I feel like we're gonna lose steam real fast. We keep pushing up this kind of energy. Oh, yeah. We don't know how much we're gonna vlog per episode, but we just wanted to check in at least big for this first one. Poor kid, like he's so awkward. Yeah, I feel you, bad. A ten-year-old actor having to deliver Star Wars dialogue. Like that's really hard. Chup Chawa. <laughs> <laughs> Then give the kid a bunch of exposition dialogue to deliver to the audience. Like, it's going to sound bad. He tried his gosh darn best. Yeah. As a 10-year-old kid, I can talk very well either. It's like, I, I just, kid sounds like a normal kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to give attitude. He's Are trying you to... an angel? Do you guys remember flirting for the first time? It didn't come off pretty well. And then you get called to leave and you go, yippee! <laughs> no kid says yippee! I say Yahoo all the time, but that's because Han Solo yes. says it. Ooh, your best friend's on the screen. Look, He's so young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's working, Ashley! It's working! <laughs> you say that line all the time. Well, it's supposed to be twin sons breakfast, but... But I turned mine into a droid. <laughs> oh, it looks great! Like, like, little, like little eyebrows and stuff. Yeah, it looks really good. That's so cute. Yeah, twin sons celebrating uh, Tatooine right now in the pod racing. I had a pod racing game for my computer. Yeah. Did you play that? I know about it. I, I played a version of it. I really, really liked it. And I had a, like a joystick, so it was kind of cool. Yeah. I think people liked that game a lot. Mm, it was fun. it was fun. Really popular. Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> this is breakfast. I had to think of something <laughs> clever to post with our food. 
I always thought this part was actually pretty cool, just seeing the immense army. And uh, we're almost through the first film. Uh, I'm actually pretty tired. Uh, we jumped out of bed and got rolling real fast. Finally able to sit down and chill out for a little bit. I think as the day progresses, we're gonna do better. But right now, oh my gosh, I am so tired still. <laughs> Okay, obviously best part is this moment with mm. Darth Maul. Oh, There's always that moment in a Star Wars movie you wait for to happen and this moment with Darth Maul turning on his lightsaber is like, oh yeah. He said stay in the cockpit. No. He didn't leave the cockpit. The cockpit. Stay Literally the cockpit. doing it. Beyond just how incredibly awesome this fight was for never seeing anything this acrobatic and crazy from a Star Wars lightsaber battle before, John Williams' music in this moment is so good. It's one of the best songs from the prequel trilogy. We really oh, so exciting. <laughs> You're gonna get us both killed, R2! Yeah, we just realized the goggles that Anakin is wearing, literally the, the always believe goggles that we're always wearing. So this is my favorite part of episode one. Ugh. See, that was my favorite part. It's that little, it's so fast. Yeah. That as a kid you were like, oh my gosh, wow, look at this. Out of all the fights that they've done in all the films still, like this is still arguably one of the best, and this moment with Obi-Wan and Maul is so good. Don't worry, he has the exact same one in the next movie. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Goober is already wanting to leave. Get me out of here. I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> we did it. First movie, lady. Here, here's your ball. You just won. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. Yay. Oh, episode one, George Lucas. Woo! Done. Welcome back, flight crew. It is time for episode two. She actually has a whole secret look I haven't seen yet for this next movie. So um, I'm just rocking my Jedi hood from Muster Brand, and I pulled my hair back as much as I could into a Padawan braid. It's a little bit of like a Qui-Gon Jinn Jedi braid, but I dig it. It keeps my hair out of my face right now during quarantine. Hope you guys are having fun so far. First movie's done. Uh, we're about to do episode two, Attack of the Clones. Oh, I love it! That's all I could find. Oh, come here. Come into the light so I can see you. Oh, it's so nice. Wow. You're barefoot for picnicking through the fields? I had heels on, but I'm not wearing heels on the couch. You want to roll around with me? I think I want to roll around with you in the field. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for episode two? Yes. We're doing this on Disney Plus, too, if you guys didn't realize. It's all set up and it's very easy to do. One down, eight to go. One. <laughs> Something I'm really happy about is ever since Disney bought Fox, the Fox fanfare is back at the beginning of the movies, which is so synonymous with Star Wars. and. It was something all of us missed because it really builds you up and gets you excited. It's true. And recently with the newer versions in the movie theater, it was just like a long time ago, really quiet before it cut to Star Wars, the main theme. But we got it. It's back. So. Is that the whole reason Disney bought Fox is just to have that bit at the beginning of the movie? I bet that's the true reason. But I know they were definitely trying to get their rights back for so many things. Like Fox owns so many rights to Star Wars, though, which they didn't own. So Disney owns everything now. Time for Attack of the Clones. We'll get to meet Hayden Christensen finally. Ooh, yes. first appearance of Anakin, Hayden Christensen. You're like, Hayden Christensen? Mm. Like, what, <laughs> Brian? <laughs> Anakin, he's the real Anakin. He's, he's the one we all love. Even, even Jar Jar's excited. <laughs> Annie? My goodness, you've grown. So have you. Grown more beautiful. Oh, the romance is starting. She's like, ooh, you're not 10 anymore. <laughs> Oh. Don't worry, he's bought the penis in the way. He just kind of stares at her like, oh hey, I'm in your bed with you. <laughs> I'm just saying that this scene is very Fifth Element-like. Like, yeah. extremely Fifth Element, but yeah. I love it. I love this scene. It's a fun chase scene. I really like this moment with Anakin showing off his piloting skills. He's a bad boy, Ooh. guys. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him taking these risks. This is where you fall in love with him as the audience to be like, oh, I get why Padme is going for it. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Love me. It's fun to see like stiff Darth Vader like being young and 
and crazy. Yeah, you want to know that like he was a person and his name was Anakin. <laughs> I'm a person. Obi-Wan cannot walk into a damn bar without cutting somebody's arm off. Man, the second Obi-Wan has a drink, he's a crazy drunk. <laughs> Vroom. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm so sorry. What do we say about letting this guy into the bar, guys? <laughs> they, they always say, like, no droids in the bar. It's like, don't let Obi-Wan Kenobi into the bar. I've been wanting to, like, wear this since we got it. <laughs> cute. Oh, you look wonderful. You look so much like her, too. Right? Like, yeah. Like, identical. Like, get out of town. <laughs> you look so good with this So on. I just like go through the entire movie with this. Mine isn't as shiny as hers. Republic needs you. What the heck? Wow, hers is like... Uh, hers is what, ir Brian? Iridescent. Iridescent. Hers is, hers is, here's, hers is iridescent. Mine I don't isn't. know how they do that. Iridescence. It's got like the colorful reflection. Is that it. what you want? No. I don't. <laughs> what are you... Wow, I'm in a trap here. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted... Iridescence was your thing. Oh. Get out of here. Wow, I get in trouble for commenting on Padme. <laughs> oh, so you're into queens who become senators? Or... I just can't, I can't, I can't, live up, to your I can't live up to your standards, Brian. I'm never gonna be. <laughs> oh, you look good. A lot of you are always wondering relationship advice. Here you go, flirting 101 with Anakin and Padme. Oh my god, guys, do not do this stuff, please. First, find a nice grassy field, isolated from everybody. Talk down to your person. Talk down to your date? Talk down to your date. Make her feel like she's a little bit worthless. <laughs> Talk her down a little bit. Talk politics with her. Anakin Skywalker's an expert on politics. By whom? Who's gonna make them? I don't know. Someone. You? Of course not me. But someone. Someone wise. And then he tells her all of his deepest Power hungry desires. <laughs> don't do that yet. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> and then, then you stare at her like that. You're making fun. Part of that works, but not too much of it. He's teasing her. That's actually a good thing. He's joking around. Yeah, not on the first date though. And then make sure to tame a wild animal for her. <laughs> tame a wild beast. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Show off as hard as you can. Really try to impress her. Oh. Just don't die in the process. Play dead. <laughs> Tease her a little bit. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. And then and grab her and roll around the grass. Dating 101 with Anakin Skywalker. More flirting 101 with Anakin Skywalker. You need to float that fruit over to your lady. It'll really impress her. <laughs> Eat the fruit, lady. I floated it over to you. <laughs> Thanks. Mmm, mm. so good. It's mm. so cute. Is it ripe? That tastes okay. It tastes pretty good? Okay, let's try this. It's a pear. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. He's pouring his heart and soul out. Oh no. The closer I get to you, the worse. Oh, this is this. He got way too needy too fast well, with her. What? Why, why is she so appalled? How long has it been since he's seen her? He's like 19 here. It's been like a while. The things we're questioning right now are exactly why people question this romance in the movie because they're like, what the heck? You guys don't even know each other. He's like, just been like thinking about her. Mm-hmm. Which looks like where Kylo gets it from. Yeah. That creepy obsession. Mm-hmm. I've been forced thinking about you <laughs> the last 10 years. Don't do that, guys. For anyone who's ever said there's no buttons in Star Wars, what is that? Jango Fett's got buttons on his shirt. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Ooh, Obi-Wan lighting it up. This Obi-Wan and Jango Fett fight is actually really fun. I think it's one of the better parts in the movie. I think we gotta change the color. He's not happy right now. <laughs> They're okay. They're okay. It's Disney. <laughs> He's not okay. Goober! Goober, this is your big moment. That is the end of episode two. Mm -hmm. We got Goober to wear his cat costume. Well, his Yoda costume. His Yoda ears for a little bit. For Look, our... there's a oh. war going on and they got married. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we can't go to Italy like they did. Mm. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go get ready for our episode three looks right now. Yep. Episode three is one of my favorite movies, so. I'm excited to watch that one. Flight crew, it's time for episode three, Revenge of the Sith. My outfit's on, and oh my gosh. Daddy One Kenobi's here. <laughs> I heard someone call him Daddy One Kenobi. Oh, I, I love mean, it. That's my new name for him. I like it. I love it. Ready to fight. I love it, Daddy One Kenobi. Are you ready to get into battle with me? Let's do this. Let's go. Robot. Take my robe off. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> you like this one? It's a great Obi Wan. It's book. a fun run, right? Yeah. I put it together and I was like, holy moly, this looks this looks very Batu appropriate. I know. You got so many good looks. That's <laughs> more appropriate. My this is Jedi on the off hours. So originally, we wanted to do this more around May the 4th, mm -hmm. but I'm glad we actually waited now because with the Clone Wars Season 7 that just came out, we get a lot more background on uh, the lead into Revenge of the Sith. We mm -hmm. saw like everything that happened right up to that moment of what we're watching right now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You already got tempted to the dark side with one of those cookies. What were you saving these for? Like the very last episode? Maybe. We no. were originally talking about for episode, yeah, nine. Two. Episode three is kind of close to episode nine. I'm I'm glad you're doing it because it, it tells me that I'm allowed to do it. These are so good. <laughs> Levain Bakery. Dark chocolate, chocolate chip, coffee cat cookies. Oh my gosh. So this is like a famous bakery. <laughs> Who stands on the balcony brushing their hair? No, it's because I'm so in love with you. <laughs> oh my god. More of their flirting from uh, a continuation from episode two. I'm not beautiful. I'm Fat, I'm pregnant, and I can't let anyone know. Coming up is every uh, fangirl's favorite moment of Revenge of the Sith. It's like looking at you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Not <all> these cookies. <laughs> General Kenobi. <laughs> Sassy one, Kenobi. <gasps> Gonna try to take his lightsaber. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's sparks between them. <laughs> Grievous is the best bad guy. <laughs> like, he's just the funniest. <laughs> he makes all the cliche villain sounds like, <laughs> yeah. Thrown over the ledge. If we've learned anything, Obi-Wan on a ledge wins every time. No. You got Darth Maul. You can fall off a ledge and you'll be okay in Star Wars. That's, most that's of the time. true. <laughs> So we haven't even gotten there yet, <laughs> Ashley. Wait a little bit. Well, he got stabbed, and then he fell off the ledge. Anakin walking into the Jedi Temple is one of my favorite shots in the movie. I mean, we tried our best. We did do our best. We're about to eat our most of our lava buns that we made last night. We didn't exactly at all use the recipe that's in the book. We used our own. Well, not too bad. No, it's not too bad? No. We just added, like, jelly and jams like to make it look like lava. Yeah, it looks like lava exploding out of our buns. Love won't save you, Padme. Only my new powers can do that. Mm. This guy had so many red flags, like how did she not see this? Come away with me. A little bit red on the inside. Well, it was the red food dye gives the interior that red color, the and then we had black yeah, for the outside, the, the toasted exterior. So it's basically it. All the food coloring. Yeah, oh my god, it was a lot of food coloring. It's the only thing that was questionable. I might not eat the whole thing. They're perfect for this moment as Anakin and Obi-Wan are about to duel. Best part of the entire movie. Stop. Stop. Oh, he I is he is ready. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Go with him. You brought him here to kill me. No. You turned her against me. You have done that yourself. Taking their robes off, getting ready to fight. <laughs> I have brought peace, freedom, justice, <laughs> and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Don't make me kill you. I'm just kidding, I love you, girl. <laughs> it's a democracy. I know some of it. You're not with me, you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I'll do what I must. You will try. <laughs> oh shoot, I was late! 
Viewings of Star Wars always end up in a lightsaber battle at some point. And why not episode three? This is the best battle in any of the movies. I actually knew more of this dialogue than I thought I would. No, I knew Obi-Wan's part pretty well. I think I did okay. You did do really well. I was like, wow, you keep doing all the dialogue back and forth with me. Like, a lot of people can't do that. I've obsessively watched that scene so many times. The only reason I can even do it. When it came out, I was just in love with this film so much. What? Why are you so in love with it? The, it's so sad. It, it's very sad, but this fight. This, in it, terms of the drama oh yeah and the build-up and like oh my gosh he's turned and you finally get to see Darth Vader I think the other big reason I loved this movie like a lot of people is like you were like this is the last Star Wars movie there's nothing else oh I so see. you put all your hopes of like that last release of like emotion tied to Star Wars into this movie uh, but luckily we got I mean the new one I don't think Star Wars is ever going away um, it's nice to know like, oh, this movie can be flawed and they're gonna do another one, so it's fine. Thank you so much everybody who's been sending us in photos all day long too and keeping us updated and sending us in pictures and videos of what you guys are doing while you're at home. You've got Ashley working all day long Instagramming. She's missing half of the movies. I know. <laughs> like, oh, I'm really looking forward to watching the prequels all in a row because I really haven't watched them uh, that much. Well, we should do another night. We'll just watch the prequels on its own and not do anything but watch the movies. Just focus. Focus yeah. on the movie, actually. <laughs> it's a party. It's a party more than a viewing. Yeah, it's it's a party to like hang out and just like enjoy the experience of trying to watch all the movies in a row versus actually doing commentary. Uh, I could talk about these movies for days. It would be the longest <laughs> vlog ever. Goober. 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 You want to put your Yoda ears on? Uber, you wanna be Yoda again? Uber! Oh, boy. Treats you give me, delicious they are. <laughs> give it now. He looks more like Dobby when the ears he like fall like back, Dobby. or like Baby Yoda. Oh, uh, you gotta look like your Baby Yoda. Unhappiest cat. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Underestimate my power. I have a high ground. Don't try it. <laughs> Bad choice. And that's a mistake you can only make once. <laughs> so dark. <laughs> it is. All the prequels are done. We're one third of the way done. <laughs> that's it. Oh my gosh, right? That's oh my crazy. God. It's one thirty-five. We're gonna do the live stream at two o'clock. Did you like Revenge of the Sith? It's been a while since yeah, you've seen I it. Yeah, I really, I didn't get to watch that one in a bit. I, I love that I got to watch all three of them back to back for the first time. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think I've really done that either myself. Like, I'm a big fan, but I don't think I've sat down and done that, because it's a lot. All right, we're about to start our live stream. Um, got the computer, got the com camera set up. Live stream starting in one minute. Oh. Flight crew, we're filming you for the vlog. This is gonna be on the vlog later. We're about to start a new hope right now. We were just doing our live stream with the flight crew. If you guys were on the live stream, thank you for donating and being a part of this awesome cause right now. But guys, it's about time to watch A New Hope. Thank you again, everybody in the flight crew. Go watch the original trilogy right now because a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ooh, that was fun doing our first live stream. Thank you everybody who just showed up for that. It really means a lot that we were able to do that and we were able to raise so much money just now for No Kid Hungry for the cause that we're doing today. And I mean, without you guys, our flight crew supporting us and supporting our passion for playing and having fun and all things that are positive, we couldn't do these fun things together and we couldn't provide this great service for so many people who are in need right now. So many kids who are also Star Wars fans who believe in the Force are gonna be so thankful to have a good meal now and be able to go about their day believing and aspiring to greater things in life. We are watching A New Hope now and we're gonna do our next snack which is Bantha blue tea or something like that it's called? It's from the Galaxy's Edge cookbook as well. Bantha chai. But we want to have blue milk with Luke and Aunt Brew and Uncle Owen as they're having theirs right now, so. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. We actually had most of the ingredients for this snack. Well, we had to order the tea on Amazon. I like this tea. I'm like, I'm gonna drink this blue tea all the time now. <laughs> all right, more New Hope. We're gonna watch Luke go off on his hero's journey and stare at the sun right now. We gotta change the color right now. It's the sunset, so. How's that for magic? I love this. <laughs> Oh wait, we gotta go pink. <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> Best part of Star Wars. 
First time oh. you get the lightsaber. <laughs> and he got it just like that. Yeah, it was so easy. Just you didn't have to like earn that. it or anything. Kind of like Ray Skywalker. It's kind of exactly the same thing, guys. Stop <laughs> complaining. <laughs> Everyone's favorite scene, Cantina. Wait, where's my instrument? This is my cue. You're late for rehearsal. <laughs> Forgot how to play. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Our brawl champion, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Since episode two. <laughs> and my personal favorite character in A New Hope, we have Han Solo. I'm Captain Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for How's that song coming? <laughs> oh, okay, ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, you did it! Should I have been? Good job! <laughs> Well, for copyright reasons, you're not allowed to play that note. Ah, you did it! It was so good. I actually figured out how to play Star Wars on the, uh, the Galaxy's Edge instrument. Oh, you wrote numbers on it. That makes it a lot easier. If you give it to me, I might forget I found you. I don't have it with you, Ashley. Tell Jabba. Tell Jabba's through with you! He has no time for smugglers. Who dropped their shipments at the first sign of Imperial Cruiser? They got any choice? You can tell that to Jabba. He may only take your ship. Or my dead body. That's the idea. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Yes, I bet you have. McClunky! Oh, see, I got thrown off. I did the head bob too fast because about the McClunky. McClunky! Oh. They added the McClunky into the this McClunky. one. The McClunky. I forgot. And that's the only thing that McClunky is weird about is it adds an extra beat of tension, which it works, but it's it's weird. Maybe that's why Han goes McClunky. What the heck does that mean? So I picked up these they're called Supercluster. It had a whole space theme to it. It's so weird. I can love this movie, Star Wars, so freaking much and just like watch it all the time. There's a lot of people that can. It's very interesting. It's very, very weird that it's such a good movie and it makes you that happy that I'm not obsessed about any other movie to this limit. Nothing but Star Wars makes me want to watch it this much. Mm -hmm. What is that? I mean, I kind of understand what that is. What do you think it is? I mean, there's nostalgia and happiness and stuff like that, but everybody wants to have a sense of adventure and like something amazing and magical that's gonna happen in life. And like this movie just encapsulates that so well. But there's gotta be something else to it. It can't just be that. It's so connected yet disconnected from reality. It's a whole different universe. So you're kind of exploring a whole different world through watching this movie. It's not like you're you're watching the background. You're like, eh, I've seen I've seen that before. No, it's nothing you've seen before. It might be similar, but it's not what you've seen before. I think it's just that is so intriguing to people. Like the just the human brain that is naturally curious. It kind of fulfills that that bit of need. I guess this thing that we're pondering right now is exactly what all the new directors and creators of Star Wars are always trying to think about. What is Star Wars? Why do we love it so much? It's a movie that adds like a slightly more grander sense of magic and wonder to the reality we already have. Mm -hmm. So it almost makes it seem like it's that much more possible that this is a real thing out there yeah. somewhere. I love Star Wars. I don't know. <laughs> I, love it too. I love getting to celebrate it with you today too. So thank you for doing this 24-hour stream with me, lady. Oh, this is so much fun. It was yeah. It was your idea. I'm so happy that this is your idea. Thank you again, Flight Crew and everybody, for doing this with us. This is even more magical that we know you guys are there on the other side of the screen watching right now with us, which is so much fun. This scene is my first memory of Star Wars when I was like four. It's the memory that stuck with me, and when I finally saw it again, I was like, Star Wars! It's Star Wars! I'm so excited to watch it and find out what that was in my head. My first memory of Star Wars is Leia giving Daryl Tarkin sass. Oh, in her British accent? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they blew it up! How's it feel? Oh my gosh, Brian. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird helmet to wear. Watching this movie, wearing this for that scene is really cool. I wrote clapping for you now. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Who had the last line? 
Too bad. Chewie had the last life. <laughs> well, guys, we finished A New Hope. We got a... My favorite. It is. It's our favorite it's Star so Wars. It's so sweet and simple and stress-free. <laughs> as much as you always wanted more and we got more with all these other Star Wars movies, the original Star Wars is the best balance of everything you want out of a Star Wars movie. I love it so much. Oh. We need to get ready for the Empire Strikes Back. We need oh, to do our alpha shoot. changes. Oh, let's go! <laughs> yeah. I'm rocking Luke Skywalker, the Empire Strikes Back, green, bright Empire Strikes Back shirt. You did on Solo. <laughs> yes! Hmm. I love it. Is this Chewbacca on the floor right here? This is Chewie. 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 He's so tired. Chewie, wake up. Listen to him. Listen. Chewie. Chewie. He's such a lumpy cat today. He's just totally like a sack of potatoes. I feel like, I feel like, we're, being like we're being watched. <laughs> Ashley just put together a really fun snack box as Luke is eating out of his uh, military rations box. We have our military rations box from Galaxy's Edge. We already had all the snacks that were in there. Cheese and prosciutto, right? Uh huh. And some veggie chips. And pretzel rods. Pretzels. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna try pretzel rods. Put that down. Now we. Hey. So Galaxy's Edge, when they put these boxes out, they put pretzel rods in them. <laughs> Star Wars fruit snacks is Darth Vader. Oh my gosh. Some trail mix mm. and dark chocolate peanut butter cups. R2 and Yoda are playing chug of war over one of the coolest props that we bought at Galaxy's Edge. This little lamp from Dagobah. <laughs> It's so silly. Stop it now. Stop it now. <laughs> so we're about midway through The Empire Strikes Back. Good job, Larry. Thank you. Good idea. Hope you guys are having fun. Is that this thing where like you close one eye? Are you in? <laughs> it looks like you're actually doing it. Go, Luke. I got, I got it for you. Look, that guy isn't here. I can't see him because my eyes are closed. It's, it's all me. <laughs> I brought you a thing out of the water. And Luke just said, I don't believe it. And Yoda says, that is why you fail. Always believe. Always believe, guys. That's where we got it from. That's one of the reasons we got always believe. We got it from that moment in The Empire Strikes Back. It's such a good moment. It's a good moment. Oh, he's so upset. He's so upset. <laughs> hey, look at me. No, it's true. Oh, sorry. No. 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 Want to rule the galaxy as mother and son? Only if you have treads. Whee! Again! Six fifty. We just finished the Empire Strikes Back. You fell asleep. I did you think twice. Asleep. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Brian. Brian, whoa. Happy to get Brian. Whoa. Brian. <laughs> twice. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna get ready for the Return of the Jedi now. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are back for the Return of uh, the Jedi. You say be Darth Vader. I decided to be Darth Vader, Lord Vader. I was hoping you'd be Jabba the Hutt, so like it's strange. <laughs> Need to start the movie because we are behind schedule. You're so behind. <laughs> My lady, what are you wearing tonight? I wear like I had this jumpsuit and like this necklace. I thought it was like kind of slave leather. I was just gonna wear like the bra over a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing a very generic Lord Vader. It's my Darth Vader t-shirt. Return of the Jedi it is one of my favorite of the Star Wars films. It was my favorite as a child. It is the most fun. Does this do it for you? I think it does do it for me. <laughs> come, come, come lady, come. <laughs> Here, do your job of the Hutt impression. So our Return of the Jedi meal is a noodle dish with beef. Um, Remember the sporks. The sporks. You have to use the sporks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we saw a lot of like these noodly dishes in the Galaxy's Edge book, but we couldn't get all the ingredients in time. We bought an okay heat up alternative. Yes, relax. Just relax. You're free of the carbonite. Kind of midway through Return of the Jedi. We might not finish it by the second live stream, but. but hopefully the live stream perks us up. I'm getting, I'm, I'm like, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. I got 
the three more movies to go. Yeah, I think it's like thinking about the fact that we have three more movies is kind of like, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's that period I knew we were going to hit where I'm like, I love Star Wars. We both do, but you're tired, you're tired. <laughs> I think that's part of what the problem is, is some of the food. What? What are you talking about? Oh, I, I've kind of been eating... <laughs> I've been eating a lot with you. I had oh, couple, what are you talking about? Yeah, I had a couple drinks too. I'm kind of tired from that. I've Ooh. been on this couch like all day. I think that's what's what makes you tired. You know, what this kind of reminds me of is like a really long plank flight. With like I'm like here. I have my charger. I have my water. I have my <laughs> wine. I have my snuggly pillows. Yeah. I have my entertainment. Uh huh. But it's like I'm like. Are there yet? I, I like it when I've been like getting into watching the film because yeah. that's what we set out to do. But then I get distracted because I'm like sharing the stories yeah. or we're working like you're working on the thumbnail. We're trying to get photos and I'm like, I feel like I'm not fully immersed in the Yeah, movie. I completely agree with that. But I love watching what everybody's doing. It's like I might just go back and try and sit down and watch watch these movies it doesn't have to be back to back no row. no we'll have to do this on like one of those nights where we're about to eat dinner and we have the night free and we're like let's put star wars on just like one of the films i am i'm cool with that i'm cool with that always like star wars is such a good go-to okay let's uh let's keep going on return of the jedi the live stream is in about 20 minutes, 20 minutes so yeah. we gotta get ready for that in a okay. second too we're twins yes sir i am me she is she but when we switch, you don't know which is which. What? <laughs> is this we're an Olsen twins, twins yeah. thing? <laughs> we're twins. We never even kissed. Pretend you never saw that. If nothing, that will be missed. Yeah. <laughs> they have the same outfit on in this movie. Ashley pointed out. It's like, oh, we're twins now. It's we're all twi forgiven. <laughs> we're twins. We never made out. Remember, we're brother and sister now. Yeah. <laughs> I brought my bloody for this episode. Now birth came. Oh, he's excited. Turn, he's turn your head, Cliff. Oh, no, Cliff. It's not time for you yet. <laughs> it looks so sad from this <laughs> He's dunce cap in the corner just leaning against the wall like he did something wrong. Goober's just... He keeps passing out from, like, the treats we've been giving him. <laughs> he's got another costume coming, so... <laughs> <laughs> we're just finishing the second live stream, and we're gonna start uh, watching The Force Awakens. Guess who I am? I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am? Okay, let's see if any of them can oh guess my God. this Disney pal. I got it. You know who I am? I got it now. Okay, everybody. Who is Ashley dressed as for the next movie? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yes! So yes! For joining us. Thank you for joining us again. Oh man, this is so much fun. We're we're ending stream, Live stream number, two. number two. So many amazing donations. Over a thousand dollars so far has been donated from our amazing Yay! flight crew here on the streaming, here on the live chats. This is so much fun. We're guys. We're having so much fun with you guys. Thank you again, uh, flight crew. It's time for Force Awakens. Oh, it's so late. We just finished live stream part two. Ashley's already in her Maz Kanata costume. I d it took me a second, and then I was like, the round glasses. It's time to continue. We have three more movies to go right now, and we're doing this because you guys, our flight crew, are crushing it today. Balcony music. Ooh. They're going to go fly that piece of garbage, and we're going to have some of that garbage. Let's have a garbage ice cream. We have ice cream sandwiches, William Falcon style. <laughs> William Falcon is in the other movies, but. Well, this is like the, <clears throat> the first like reappearance of the Falcon. This is like the Falcon's big debut. If you don't recognize any of these characters, recognize Falcon. Yeah, and in the original trilogy, you don't really value the Millennium Falcon when you first see it. You kind of go like, look like, what a piece of junk. But in this movie, you're like, I know who the Falcon is. Yeah. I love that ship. I don't know this girl. I don't know this guy. I don't know this droid. I know that chip. <laughs> <laughs> we have Millennium Falcon ice creams. You know how long it took us to find these? Oh, they're so good. No, it doesn't taste like a piece of junk. It tastes delicious. It's nice and sugary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my um, Force Awakens uh, Han Solo jacket, and I have on my favorite quote from The Force Awakens. That's not how the Force works. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and you have on your amazing... I love this character so much. Oh, boy. Um... Yeah, we got real sleepy. <laughs> yeah, Force Awakens. Oh boy, that was tough. Close my eyes, but I was listening to the whole thing. <laughs> I had moments of kind of in and out almost. I think I was awake most of it, but... I didn't 
Ready for Last Jedi? Yeah, ready for Last Jedi. We have Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. On to The Last Jedi. It's uh, three hours past my bedtime. It's a great rose. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm technically trying to be part of the resistance bomber group in the beginning that doesn't survive. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, Poe Dameron's group of bombers that he sacrifices. <laughs> I was gonna do Holdo. I don't have anything purple or mauve, but I love that color. How do I not own, like pretty much everything I've been wearing today is just because like, I go to the thrift store when I'm bored. And I go pick up stuff that I'm like, that looks like Star Wars. That could be Star Wars. I'm delirious. And yeah. we still have two movies, so. We're doing okay. We got two more movies to go. Uh, uh, we, we fell asleep for a bit <clears throat> of Force Awakens. We fell asleep. But there's no rules against falling asleep a no, little bit. No, we didn't say. <laughs> the challenge is can you get through all, all the movies? Yeah. Um, I feel really... like I could stay awake for this one. I think like I got okay. like a little power nap or something. I feel like I got a little something too. Oh, these dark side cookies. Mm hmm. Last They're Jedi. So good. If we get him into his. Korg costume. Oh my gosh, Goober! <laughs> you want your new costume? <gasps> yeah? Oh, Look at this Korg! Oh, Goober! Let's see! Oh, you're purring. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. You're so cute! Oh, you're cute! So Look at you! A trat. Trit. Ashley set up all this great display for us when we're watching the movie. We have all these fun pieces in front of the TV. It's coming up. It's coming up. The TikTok song. You know everything I need to know about you. He did it. He said it. it's the TikTok song. <laughs> you like that song so much. I do. I love it. Be alive. I know everything I need to know about you. You do, 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 do. Oh, you do. <laughs> it's I, I'm actually like wide awake. I'm really? enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I have like another big diet Pepsi though. Actually, there's a bunch in here if you want okay, some. Okay, I'll take some. Canto bite. Canto bite. I loved our Canto bite outfits yeah, we did for that fun. TikTok. I would have worn them again tonight. They're not very uh, comfortable. I don't want to wear them for the whole movie. Yeah. Canto bite's not a bad scene. Like. No, it's cool seeing like the wealthy side of like well, Star Wars. That was like when Palpatine, you know, went to the opera. Yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> supposed to do every movie, they're supposed to show you something new that you've never seen before. And this is totally yeah, that. It's a casino. <laughs> we love all the memes that have been made from this part in Last Jedi with oh, Kylo. I love how I was like asleep and Yoda's like. The greatest teacher failure is, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I'm uh, offended. Yeah, this is the best part of The Last Jedi. Well, one of the best parts is the end of the movie, like the whole meaning behind the kids telling the story of Star Wars and showing like, you know, it's it's for everybody. It continues on. You can be anybody. And if you believe. It's kind of like, hey guys, this wasn't your trilogy. This, yeah. this is for the new generation. This is the kids. Dude, I don't know. I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm asleep. <laughs> I like this seat though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Him holding the broom, the little glisten of highlight that hits it just like it's a lightsaber. It's so cool. A lot of really, really well done things in The Last Jedi. Alright, Last Jedi is done. Uh, we have one more and hopefully we can stay awake. We're just trying to get through it as much as we can right now. And that's all we care about. It's all we hope you guys are able to do tonight. It's just get through it in whatever way you can. This is a lot to do in one day. A lot of people just, one day. they stopped before they got to the last trilogy. And they're like, we're going to pick it up tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, dude. Do what you got to do. We want it to be a challenge. It's challenging. Yeah. You all ready for this? <laughs> you look pretty ready. We're in the home stretch, lady. This is it. This is the final one. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my black Kylo Ren cardigan. I got my Rise of Skywalker t-shirt on. I got overdressed for this event. You did a great job. Ready for the final one? Yes. Okay. Rise of Skywalker, guys. This is the final episode nine, the one we've been building up to all night. Yay, last one. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, last one. Two and a half 
two hours and 22 minutes. Okay, we Oh got my this. gosh, what time is it? You know. It's like three. It's going to be like five. We're barely going to make the 24 hours. Oh yeah, it's 2.42 right now. Oh my gosh. We'll make it because we started at six o'clock. Our victory lightsabers for finishing the trilogy. Yes. We're finishing all nine of the movies. The trilogy. All the trilogy. Of them. It's all of them. All of them. I can't help it. Give me a lightsaber. I'm gonna whack Even around. in pretzel form. <laughs> I'm allergic. No. <laughs> Don't choke. This is how our night has been. It's been. Pretty amazing to sit here and watch all nine of these movies. Very long day doing this. I don't think I'll do this ever again. I don't know if I will either. I think I want to just sit there and actually appreciate each movie on its own because all nine Star Wars movies at once is it's a bit much. How are people do this in the movie theater? Like, I'm I'm passing out. I can understand doing one of the trilogies at a time, but all of them together is too much. It turned out okay. Yeah, these are good. They're fun. Best part about today is we had our entire flight crew oh my God. here with us, <laughs> hanging out. That's what the most amazing part was. Everybody was here, mm. the entire crew. So many of you online all over the world doing this fun event with us, and that was the best part about today. Just a little motivation to start the day. Whoa! Hey Ashley and Brian and flight crew, I'm here checking in from the Netherlands, already watching the movies, the first one has started, and I'm here chilling on my couch with my doggy, wearing my Anakin inspired outfit with a wraparound belt, black cardigan vest with a green shirt and sweatpants. I want to be comfortable. I love your channel and I'll see you at the live streams. Hello guys, my name is Roberto. I'm from Mexico. I'm here with Shui and we're watching episode 3. Alright baby, are you ready for a movie marathon? Here we are, watching Revenge of the Sith. Got my helmet, my movies on D-Day's chest, dude. And my project for later. And my lightsabers from Galaxy's Edge, dude. So excited. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Star Wars. Nothing but Star Wars. We're gonna be watching the Star Wars Marathon today with Always Believe and Darth Vader's here. We got movie posters we're gonna be changing out. We got Brian's favorite, Han Solo's blasters, Rufus. And my wife is here too. And uh, we'll be hanging out with you guys all day long. Let's get this started. Get my desktop all decorated. And here we go. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm just making the Kessel Run unless I'm to a parsec. And I'm watching The Empire Strikes Back for Ashley and Brian's Always Believe 24-Hour Star Wars Challenge.
my favorite part of the entire series with my favorite movie is the best. Thanks guys for doing this. You guys are really great. George? Hi, Canyon here. Just read the script for Empire Strikes Back. The script is amazing. The only thing I would change is when Leia says to Han, I love you, and he replies, I love you too. Have him reply, I know. You like it? Oh, that's fantastic. Mm. That's tough, Gracie. That's tough. Hey, Ash and Brian. Uh, let's see, here's my Star Wars marathon setup. Uh, just want to say this was a really awesome idea, so thanks for that. My name is uh, Michael, by the way. I'm the guy you helped get the date, so I just want to say thanks for that, and uh, thanks for all your hard work, and keep it up. Yeah, here we go. Just came out of hyperspace heading for home. We've been gone for a few weeks, but it's felt like forever. Hey, R343. That's right, we're almost home. What do you mean there's someone on board? That's impossible. Don't be silly. The Jedi have been extinct for a long time. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. That's even better. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there was ice cream. Hello Flight Crew, I'm Alexa and I'm tuning in from work and I just wanted to say hi and talk about how I am secretly watching the movies as I work. We're totally allowed to listen to stuff and having a lot of fun. Bye guys! We've been sitting here while we're watching. I've been painting the sculpture that I made, the Mandalorian, and you can see there's a little tiny baby Yoda in there. I'll be honest with you, I'm freaking tired. But we're gonna stay up, we're gonna watch these next three movies. Thank you guys for doing this whole thing. I'm so tired. Come on, just say it. Say the, say the name. Nice guy. Oh. <laughs> it's been a great day, but I'm looking forward to taking a long, long Jedi nap now. This is how everybody feels at the end of the 24 hour <laughs> challenge. She's completely wiped out like Ray. Like, we're not even gonna have the energy to close our eyes. Nope. <laughs> Can't even close our eyes. We wanna thank you guys all for joining us today on this fun, crazy challenge for 24 hours of Star Wars. It really was a challenge. It was a real challenge. Thank you for always believing. And um, thank you guys for donating. Thank you so much. We raised, what was it, uh, $1,000? We raised over $1,000 in just the live stream. That makes me so happy. Well, like and subscribe, watch our other videos. Uh, come back soon, more fun. Good night. Good night, guys. Good morning. <laughs> always believe. Mm -hmm.